Quack, quack. Hi, ducks. I miss you so much, and I wanted to share a book with you. This was a book we were going to read in class, and it's one of my favorites from when I was in kindergarten. You can nose nose if you have heard of The Napping House. This is by Audrey Wood and illustrated by Don Wood. Let's see. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And on that dog there is a cat. A snoozing cat on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is And on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be? A wakeful flea on a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Look at that little flea up there. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse. Oh no. Who scares the cat. who claws the dog. Who thumps the child. Who bumps the granny. Who breaks the bed. in the napping house where no one now is sleeping. <laughs> one of my favorite things about this book is if you look back at some of the pictures, they give you a clue for what's coming next. So on this picture where you can see the boy is on top of the granny, the dog is starting to wake up, but all the other animals are sleeping. And then on the next page, when the dog is on top, you can see the cat starting to wake up. So see if you can look back and find all of those animals on the pages. In the email I sent you, um, I gave you some activities you can do with this and some other things you can do today. So I hope you all have a happy Friday, and we will see you next week.